God's advice today. God is sending many signs, but it seems like you are ignoring all of them. So please do not ignore this video, as it is a message from God's heart to bless your life today. Before we continue, please leave your like so that more people can be reached by this message, subscribe to the channel, and activate the bell to receive more videos like this. Don't ignore this video and stay until the end. I invite you to click on the first comment, where you will find a special prayer and the second best manifestation offer in the world. God said, My dear son, you already know that being near me brings a supernatural peace. Recognizing your dependence on me, like manna in the desert, is something you cannot store up for later. So, absorb the tranquility that surrounds you and feel the happiness it brings. We will meet again when you wake up tomorrow, and I will give you the peace of mind you need for that day. I promise, child, that you will move mountains and be able to walk on water the moment you fully understand how to accept the peace I cherish. If you desire miracles, watch this video until the end. Understand that, my dear child, tomorrow is not something to worry about. This is an order not a suggestion. I have divided time into days and nights so that you have manageable amounts of each to deal with. I have the highest grace sufficient for you, but it is temporary. When you rise, at that moment, working together will bring blessings far greater than any problem you may have. Experiencing my presence brings a happiness that surpasses all circumstances. I am life and abundant light. You become lighter and more energized as you spend time absorbing my presence. You lay your heavy burdens on my strong shoulders by talking to me, gaining my perspective on life. When you look to me to clear your mind and make sense of the day ahead of you, you need that time alone with me. Fight for this precious time we have together. Opposition can take many forms. The need to stay in bed longer than necessary, the malicious will of people to keep you away from me, and the pressure from loved ones, friends, and your own inner critics to use your time more wisely. You gain the strength to resist these adversaries as your desire to please me above all else grows. Surrender to me, for I am everything you ever wanted. Let me show you that this day is my way for you. I constantly provide you with guidance so that you can relax and savor my presence. Living in the now is an art and also a discipline. Focus on staying close to me, the divine artist, as I work my way into your life. Discipline your mind to trust in me. Pray about everything and then let me handle the results. Do not be afraid of my intentions, for I achieve what is best for you through them. Take a deep breath and dive into a place of complete faith in me. The eternal arms are underneath you. Become part of the choruses of angels who are constantly before my throne when you worship me in spirit and truth. If you agree with God's words, then share this video with those closest to your heart. Even if you can't hear their words, their gratitude and appreciation are clearly audible in heaven. Although I hear your requests, it is your gratitude that opens the door to my heart. The path ahead is clear, and you will receive my blessings in abundance. Proximity to me, abundant joy, and peace in my presence are the greatest blessing. Practice saying, thank you, and praising me all day long. I am richly present in every moment of your life, closer than you can imagine. Love unites us in ways that nothing can break. But, due to the invisible nature of your association with me, you may occasionally feel alone. Please ask me to open your eyes so you can see me around you. You feel safer the more aware you are of my presence. This is about tuning into the supreme reality, not about escaping reality in any way. Compared to the world you can see, hear, or touch, I am much more real. 
Faith is the evidence that supports our unseen actions and the conviction of their existence, accepting as true things that the senses do not convey. Focus your entire being while I am here. Without a doubt, I am with you, enveloping you in my affection and tranquility. I am shaping your thoughts and purifying your emotions as you relax in my presence. I am changing you into the person I envision for you. Die, but do not lose focus on me. When you transition from silence to your daily routines, please discuss with me anything that is bothering you. Pray and praise yourself whenever you feel bored with what you are doing. Avoid focusing on other people's faults when they irritate you. Bring your thoughts back to me gently. If you keep your attention on me, every minute is precious. My presence permeates all time, so every day can be a good day. Come, Lord, and stay with me in my eternal arms. You can relax because of your weaknesses. You have the chance to become more powerful in your awareness of my almighty presence. When you realize your energy is failing, do not look inward at the deficiency you find there. Focus your attention on me and my sufficiency and delight in the brilliant resources I have readily available to help you as you go through this day. Remember to lean on me and delight in my presence. I am grateful for your need which is helping to strengthen the bonds of trust between us. If you take a moment to reflect on your journey up to this point, you will realize that in times of tremendous weakness, you have had some of the most beautiful moments. Golden threads of my intimate presence are intricately woven into the fabric of the memories associated with those days. Regarding your life, this is a time of richness, as blessings overflow in your cup. After spending considerable time struggling uphill, you are finally crossing green meadows bathed in bright light. It is my hope that you make the most of this period of relaxation and revitalization. I take great pleasure in providing it for you. There are times when my children hesitate to accept my good gifts with full enthusiasm. They begin to feel an irrational guilt, which convinces them that they do not deserve to be so abundantly fortunate. No one deserves anything from me, therefore, this way of thinking is completely absurd. Believing and receiving are the two most important aspects of my kingdom, not deserving or earning. I am terribly sad whenever one of my children refuses to accept the things I have given them with a heart full of gratitude. I am filled with joy whenever you receive my abundant benefits. There is a joyful balance between my delight in giving and your pleasure in receiving. I am the culmination of what you have hoped and wished for. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last. I am the one who is who was, and who is to come. Before knowing me, you expressed your longing for me in ways that were harmful. You were extremely susceptible to the sinister forces surrounding you in the world. At this moment, however, my presence is protecting you and enveloping you in the arms of my affection. I have taken you out of the shadows and brought you into the glorious light I have. Despite bringing much joy into your life, none of it is necessary. I invite you to accept my blessings with open hands. Enjoy the blessings I have given you, but do not cling to them. Your focus should be directed to the one who grants all good things, and you should find comfort in the awareness that you are complete in me. My presence with you is the only thing you definitely need and the only thing you will never lose. My dear child, as you navigate through the highs and lows of life, remember that I am your God and source of truth. My teachings will illuminate your path. Success is not permanent, nor is failure. What counts is your determination to continue. Life will test you with many obstacles, but do not be afraid, I have already conquered the world. True victory comes from facing difficulties with faith and strength. When times are tough, 
Think of my own struggle on earth and how I overcame it by trusting in God's plan. After suffering and death, I rose again, showing that no setback is too great to overcome. Failure is just a moment in time, a chance to grow and move towards greatness. Consider Noah, who was mocked but saved humanity, Joseph, who was wronged but rose to power, and my disciples, who faced dangers but spread my word widely. They did not let obstacles define them, their faith led them to extraordinary achievements. I have called you to a meaningful life, full of challenges but also with great potential for impact. If you agree, share this message with others so they too can find support in God. When you face opposition or doubt, stand firm in my promises. Remember that I am always with you. Do not be discouraged by temporary setbacks, keep pursuing what lasts forever. Be the good soil in the parable of the sower, which nurtures seeds for abundant growth. Do not chase after fleeting praise, seek deep faith and a pure heart, for this is what counts in the kingdom of God. When you fail, it is an opportunity to deepen your faith and continue your work for a greater cause. Child, let go of past failures, learn from them but do not let them define you. You are reborn and the old has gone. Have the courage to continue, for it is in persistence that you find true victory. If you trust in the power and grace of God, affirm this with love, God. I hope this message has been an inspiration to you. If you liked it, please write Amen and share this message with someone who also needs to hear it. I invite you to click on the first comment where you will find a special prayer and the second best manifestation offer in the world. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more inspiring content like this. See you tomorrow.